guys, welcome back to Sisters Talk TV. This is going to be a Married at First Sight final review and season recap what I think about the entire season as a whole. And we're going to talk about who pretty much stayed together, who didn't stay together, and also the reunion, what happened, pretty much my thoughts and opinion on what happened at the reunion. So let's go ahead and get on with the video. So who stayed together? Okay, so we had three couples out of the five total couples stay together. Ryan and Clara, Eric and Virginia, and Vincent and Brianna are the three couples that stayed together. The three, the two couples that did not stay together is Jacob and Haley and Chris and Paige. Am I surprised that they these couples stayed together? I'm not too surprised. I knew Vincent and Brianna were going to stay together. Um... My two wild cards were Ryan and Clara and Eric and Virginia. Virginia. Honestly, I did not think Eric and Virginia were going to stay together just because they had a lot of arguments and fuss throughout the season. But I think that was just their way of, you know, breaking up to make up kind of thing. Um, so I, I was kind of surprised that Virginia even said yes to stay with Eric just because I felt like Eric was trying to control her most of the season and just kind of control what she did and what she wasn't doing which you know pretty much like was trying to take control of Virginia's life when it came to Ryan and Clara I didn't I felt like Clara was being uh, the most authentically her she was being very expressive and she was um yeah, pretty much being very expressive in her feelings, how she felt about Ryan. Um, she expressed to the other ladies, but I didn't think Ryan was being his true self. Maybe it's just a camera thing, but I didn't really get a chance to really understand who Ryan was. Um, and still, I still don't know who Ryan is. Um, Jacob and Haley, I knew that they were not going to stay together just because they just did not have any chemistry whatsoever. It was just very, very awkward with the two. And I feel like Jacob should have been paired with Clara and Haley should have been paired with Ryan. I don't know what the experts were thinking when it came to these two, but yeah, they didn't stay together. Chris and Paige, we definitely knew that they were not staying together just because, I mean, look what happened throughout the season. It was a complete crap show. That's all I'm going to say. It was, it was just awful. But let's go ahead and get on to the reunion and let's talk about, you know, what happened. So, um... We get Virginia and Eric. Um, I thought they were just being totally fake throughout this whole reunion. All they kept doing is smiling, looking at each other, making sure that each other is not saying like, it's like they rehearsed like what they were going to say. Now I would have to say Virginia looked really nice. Like her makeup was done very, very well. She looked very well put together. Um, this reunion compared to what we, <laughs> compared to her wedding. Um, and then the purple eyelashes, I mean the purple um, the purple, um, eyeshadow and stuff, but she looked very nice. Pretty much all the ladies look really, really nice this whole season. Brianna loved her hair. Paige loved her makeup. Her outfit was really cute. Her dress was really cute. Even, um, um, Haley and Claire, they look really, really nice as well too. So all the ladies looked really nice. I didn't really pay attention too much what the guys were wearing, but, uh, I would have to say <clears throat> the ladies look very well put together. Um, so I initially thought that, like I said, I thought that Virginia was going to say no to Eric, but it seems like Eric was, he, he made sure he was the first person to talk and say, yes, he wants to get married. He wants to stay with Virginia. So Virginia would not have to say no. It's like she was kind of obligated to say yes. Um, not too much is going on with them. Um, Virginia did kind of reveal that she does not think Eric has um, allergies to her cat. And I, I felt like Eric was just probably using that as an excuse. Um, so Virginia, so the cats wouldn't have to, you know, come in. Like, Virginia wouldn't have to, the cats wouldn't have to come in and out of their room. Um, Virginia did move to Eric's condo, so she moved out of her apartment. So she's living with Eric. And I just feel that, you know, um, I, I, I felt like Virginia, because Eric is a pilot, you know, she just kind of caved in and, you know, allowed Eric to um, kind of take, take control. 
Um, do I see the two lasting? I hope they do. If they're in love, then, you know, that's all we can, you know, wish we, we wish them the best. But we will see. Um, I do feel like... I don't know. I'm, I'm still kind of undecisive about them. Hopefully, you know, everything is going well with these two. Um, now we get to Ryan and Clara. Ryan, Clara and Ryan. So like I said, they stay together. I was not really expecting them. Well, I guess I had mixed feelings because I just feel like we did not know who Ryan was. Ryan was not very expressive to Clara. He still hasn't told Clara he loved her. And Kevin Frazier, who was the host, had to kind of force Ryan to say... He loved Claire and be more expressive to her. And Claire was just all get like just happy, like, oh Ryan just told her. I'm like, <sighs> um, Clara, Clara, Clara. Um, hopefully Ryan and Clara seems very, very honest with how she feels. Hopefully Ryan opens up to Claire and shows Claire the same amount of love and attention that she shows that she shows him. Um yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about these couple, um, Ryan and Clara. Hopefully, you know, everything is well with them. Ryan, please be more expressive to Clara. And Clara, it seems like, and like, once again, just like Virginia and Eric, it seemed like they kind of rehearsed what they were going to say. Ryan kept looking at Clara the whole time, making sure, oh my gosh, please don't say anything bad. <laughs> please don't say anything bad, which is so funny. Um, but yeah, like, I, w I wish him the best. Um, the next couple we have is Jacob and Haley. Like I said, I was not expecting them to stay together. We didn't really get a good segment from Jacob and Haley. Maybe next week we'll have a better segment from them. But, um, yeah, it seems like Haley, Jacob claims that Haley didn't really try. And at first, I would have to agree, Haley did not really put in the effort as Jacob was putting it and when she start when she was ready to put in the effort Jacob was already checked out of the marriage and out of the relationship I didn't really like when Haley like Kevin was trying to ask Haley you know Haley please revive Jacob's reputation um with the girls with the women's segment when when it was just the ladies and Haley was just going in and she did not help the situation at all when it concerned when it came to her and Jacob's marriage or um what happened in the Vegas trip and I'm just like and it's like she was kind of happy you know like she was like kind of dogging him out and one thing I would have to say, I did not, I don't feel the way when I look at, you know, the Haley and Jacob situation, I feel like Haley did not come there for marriage. Um, she came to make friendships. She came, I feel like Haley actually came to be on television because it seems like she's so much more comfortable when it's just, you know, when they went on the ladies trip and they had like a girls night and stuff it seemed like she was very much more comfortable um just being you know just making friendship with the ladies and it's like Haley this was what you complained about when you you know during the casting and stuff you said you were you were always the bridesmaids the bridesmaid so it seems like you when you make friendship it's like when you are what okay for instance in this um season of Married to Medicine Haley came there to make lifelong friendship. She did not come for marriage because, like, it's like she is more compassionate and more open when it comes to, like, the friends that she's made on the show um, compared to when she is with Jacob. So, I mean, Haley, you may need to look at what is actually going on. Maybe you need to um fine like maybe Haley should be um unmatchable like the show like they have maybe they need to retry this whole thing when it comes to Haley and um and I feel like they really need to give Paige another chance honestly at finding love because what they did to Paige was so unfair I'm not gonna say there's anything about Haley but it was unfair because Paige actually tried you know she was so she was really really looking for love and it was just not cool what they did to her. But speaking of Paige and Chris, let's go ahead and get on to their segment. So they were the last segment. Pa um, yeah, they were the last segment. Um, What I think so far, I was so disappointed in Paige. This reunion and also the season finale, I'm just like, Paige, please make up your mind if you're going to stay with Chris or if you're not going to stay with Chris 
Just say no. Simple as that, Paige. Like, Chris is literally, he humiliated you on national television. And for you to have an ounce of sympathy and empathy for Chris on national television is absolutely absurd to me. Completely absurd to me. Because I'm just like, Paige, girl, all you just have to say is no. Like, just be very direct with Chris. Like, do not let him gaslight you. Just be completely direct with him. And Paige kept pondering on yes or no. She was so indecisive. I'm like, what is there to be indecisive of, Paige? Like, it's really, really like, I'm just like, what, Paige, come on, get in the game. Like, Paige, girl. And I do feel like Paige and Chris, after the season wrapped up, I felt like they were still seeing, I, I think that they probably were still seeing each other, trying to reconcile, which I think is crazy on Paige's end, because I'm just like, girl, like... <laughs> And they even mentioned that they were actually, they went to counseling to see if they can, you know, revive their marriage, revive their relationship. I'm like, Paige, why would you even agree to that? Why? <laughs> um, but yeah, they mentioned that and all, you know, Paige was pretty much in say, saying like for her, it just was not right. And, you know, she just, you know, that's just not something that she, but I'm like, why would you even agree with it in the first place? Um, we also get the snippet of Chris pretty much talking to Pastor Cal, and he, it's like, I did not like this part, because I just felt like they re-victimized Paige again, um, pretty much saying that, you know, telling Pastor Cal he wasn't really, um, attracted to her, and I'm just like, Chris, she should be saying the same thing about you. I think all of us are saying <laughs> the same thing about you, and, you know, him, saying that was pretty much like yeah a lot of black women are going to be upset with him um and I think that Paige should have said the same thing about him because we were we're all thinking the same thing I'm pretty sure all the reviews I'm watching we are all thinking the same thing about you Chris so please do not get too carried away upon yourself um when you're talking about Paige because we are all thinking about the same thing about you let's be honest um we also get um, Pastor Dwight comes, who is Chris's, I'm going to say Chris, he's Chris's friend, but he claims that he says that he is Chris's kind of um, mentor, spiritual guidance leader. And that's what Chris introduced him as. But I guess since, you know, they're no longer friends, Chris says he, didn't know, he was nothing, he was not a friend to him. So Chris is pretty much upset with Pastor Dwight because Pastor Dwight had a conversation with Paige and he felt like, he was, Pastor Dwight was breaking Mercedes down in order to uplift Paige. And I did not think that was true. And I just feel like Chris has a way of misconstruing stuff to appeal what his, to appeal to his own narrative. And I feel like Pastor Dwight was giving Paige a like, really, really good advice. And Chris needs to learn how to take constructive criticism. because and that's what Pastor Dwight was saying this whole time. Chris has a hard time of taking constructive criticism. And if things are not going his way, Chris takes, um, Chris takes upon, Chris takes it upon himself to make, to cause a scene. We've seen this with Eric. He was trying to fight Eric. He was even trying to fight Clara and, and Virginia on the show. Now he's trying to fight Pastor Dwight. I'm just like, Chris, counseling is calling your name. Therapy is calling your name. Whatever is going on with you, Chris, you have to really seek counseling or therapy because the way that you treated Paige during the her during the wedding and how what you said about her pretty much victimizing her and then you're gaslighting her you're manipulating her it's just like it's bad qualities in a man um and pastor dwight even mentions that chris has been engaged he's been this is his so he's been engaged i guess when he was younger then he was engaged to mercedes now he's married to um Paige. so chris is pretty much a serial engager when it comes to engagements like he likes to he engages women i don't know how um i don't even know like what exactly do these women see, see in chris um maybe i don't think he's a good when it comes to communication 
Um, he doesn't really communicate. Well, I don't know. Maybe when it comes to, I don't know. Because obviously it has Paige continue. Like, it's like Paige is not really, like, she, it's like she keeps going back too quick. I'm like, what exactly, what exactly is going on? And then they talk about the whole Mercedes situation. Paige um, says that Mercedes is not, um, she didn't think, she didn't think that Mercedes was pregnant. And, and um, yeah, she didn't. She doesn't think Mercedes was pregnant. She felt like, you know, that's just something that they were doing to, um, <clears throat> to you know, for pre- Chris to get out of the situation when it comes to Paige. And I'm not going to say Mercedes was or was not pregnant because, um, uh, yeah, I'm not necessarily going to say because if she wasn't, she lost the baby. That's really, really unfortunate. That's very, very sad. Um, and that, because, you know, that's, something that you know miscarriage is not something that we wish for anybody you know so so I'm not gonna necessarily say that Mercedes was or was not pregnant but I feel like Chris was engaged he's he was pretty much during this whole process him and Mercedes were obviously seeing each other so Chris was not being 100 percent when it came to this whole process and that's what doc um pastor dwight mentioned and i love how kevin frazier was literally holding chris accountable chris tried to scoot his way talk his way throughout this whole situation and kevin frazier was really on him like asking the questions that needed to be answered and Chris was like, uh, 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 I don't, I don't feel, I don't really want, like, why? You're on a national televised and you're, you know, honesty and it is a pretty much a reality show, you know, like you cannot determine what kind of questions you want to answer, what, <clears throat> what kind of questions you don't want to answer, you don't feel like answering, which is just not cool. Cause it's like, what is the point? Like, what is the point of the, um, like, what's the point of the reunion? Like, come on. Um, what else? Okay, that's pretty much what the whole Paige and Chris segment. Um, it ends, it ends, well, this segment ends because Chris runs out and he really wants to fight Pastor Dwight. I'm like, how do you go from Pastor Dwight being your friend and now you want to fight him? Like, it's just a short fused friendship when it comes to, he's like, Chris is, gives me the type of person he is, he, he's ready to end relationships. He's ready to end friend, he, friendships. Like, it's just not even cool. Um, okay, then we get Vincent and Brianna. So, they're still together. They seem really happy, which I knew that they were going to be together. I just, I had a feeling because they had a good chemistry. Um, Vincent pretty much thinks says that he's really proud of Brianna. Um, Brianna moves into Vince's apartment, so they're kind of struggling with the whole sharing space, but, you know, they're making it work. They're planning on buying a house. They're also planning on buying a condo in Dominican Republic, which is where Vince is from. So, so far, so good. Everything is going good when it comes to Vincent and Brianna. Um, what else? Okay, Brianna says that she's also having baby fever because she, baby fever because during the season she was really scared about you know um, having kids because she said that you know she has a um, health issue that is you know she has a fear of having kids because of her health. Um, and Vincent wasn't really he didn't really want to compromise, which was I was just like. Yeah, he didn't really want to compromise because of that because he wants to have his own kids. Um, he doesn't. He didn't really want to com- compromise when it came to adoption or surrogacy or anything like that. Um, but everything seems really good um, going on with Vincent and Brianna. So I'm really happy for them. Um, oh, Vincent was, you know, pretty much telling that, um, telling Kevin that every day he likes to ride, but of course his wife, like she's really doing her thing. I'm just like, so far, so good. I have no complaints when it comes to Vincent and Brianna. And I guess people were complaining, com- uh, comparing them to Woody and Imani from last season of Mar- Married at First Sight, New Orleans. So I did watch Married at First Sight, New Orleans. And I would have to say, um, when it comes to Woody and Imani, Woody and Imani. I wouldn't net I wouldn't I wouldn't really compare the two. Um just because I felt like Woody and Imani, they just have this understanding of each other, you know? 
And I don't really see that necessarily when it comes to Brianna and Vincent. Um, that is pretty much what I have for this video. Let me know what you guys think so far. So, um, part two of the reunion is next week and I'm going to definitely try to review it. Um, I really enjoyed this series of Married at, or this season of Married at First Sight. Um, Atlanta, I can't wait for next season. I think it's going to, they said, I think it's going to be sometimes in July. Um, but I'm really, really excited. Um, this is actually, this was actually my first season of watching Married at First Sight and so far so good. I really hope that they give Paige another chance at love. So hopefully they can bring her back because the matching, how they matched her this series was so unfair because she was really, really like ready to find love. But let me know what you guys think so far. Please make sure you like this video and also subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out with our algorithm. Thank you guys so much. Peace, love, and blessings.